Well, look what we have here, a brand new update to Procreate. No, what? This is not Procreate? Oh, this is Medibank Pro. This is a new premium drawing app brought to you by the same people who created the free app, Medibank. Hello, my name is Brad. I review tech for creative professionals and this app dropped just a few weeks ago. Haven't had the chance to use it yet. I thought, Let's do it. Let's see what this is all about. All right, so here we are in Medibang Pro. And uh, as you can see, the screen I'm at now is the one asking me to purchase it. The, the purchase price is $10.99 currently. This is a perpetual license, so it's not gonna be like renewed every month. However, when I did first start this up, I had to plug in my Apple ID and confirm the purchase for the free trial, uh, even though it didn't, didn't charge me for that. Um, I'm kind of led to believe from that interaction that when my 30 day trial is up, it might automatically charge me for that unless I go in and say, don't do that. I could be wrong on that, but if you go into this, that should be your expectation is that if you try it, um, you should probably go in and make sure that it doesn't charge you at the end of that you know, trial. And every time you start the app, it, it greets you with this screen to ask you to purchase it, restore your purchases, or go up here and just say, go home, which takes you to this very familiar looking screen. If you've ever used Procreate, Procreate looks just like this. They have some sample canvases that you can go in and check out. The plus button gives you a whole bunch of options just like Procreate. You can create your own, you can import a photo. If you hit the select button, it allows you to select things and then delete or duplicate them. You can create folders. So it's, it is just like Procreate. I already have a canvas here. And when you open up that canvas, you can see again, this is very similar to Procreate where you have your brush size on the left, you have your transparency over here. Over here on the right, you have all your tools. Some of the tools that are kind of more tucked away in Procreate, like flipping the canvas and the selection tool and like the color drop tool. Some of those things are in here. Also, there's like a ruler tool. Along the left, you have some of the same things that you have in Procreate. This is your object tool. So you can draw a rectangle or an ellipse or polygon. So that's handled a little bit differently than Procreate. Um, you have your selection tools and stuff like that. And then you have your settings where you can go Go in here and do this stuff. So if we take a look at the brushes, the brushes are organized very similar to Procreate, um, where you have a history where you can show the brushes that you've been using, um, and then you have some of your options. There's a whole bunch of different pencils and things like that. And I wouldn't be surprised, I'm not super familiar with Medibang standard, I wouldn't be surprised though if these were the same exact brushes just pulled over to this new version. I have a nice pencil here, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead. This is another thing that I've noticed happens a lot, is that to make the brushes go away, you have to actually come in here and start drawing, which is fine. Again, the other thing that you'll notice here is that your hand gestures work. I can pinch to zoom, two fingers to undo, three fingers, does two fingers redo? It does not. Oh, it does. I just didn't hit it right. When I started taking online art courses, I quickly found myself way in over my head. It was like jumping from elementary school straight into college. I needed something that was in between that. My Learn to Draw in 60 Days course is that middle step that goes over the basics of drawing so you can jump into more advanced tutorials and courses with confidence. To learn more about that course and my other ones, go to bradsartschool.com. Yeah, drawing on this feels really good, right? You've got your basic tools here. I'm going to just actually sketch this out really quick. Maybe I'll just make the outlines of a dog, maybe a schnauzer. I don't know how to make a schnauzer. Give it an ear, right? Maybe it's second paw down here. First paw over here. Cut it to back leg. But yeah, this feels really good to sketch with. Um, part of that is the Apple Pencil, part of that is the iPad. But the brushes feel pretty solid. One thing that I was playing around with here is um, in Procreate, and let me jump in here and tap on my pencil brush. It works the same way, where when you tap on a brush, you can go into the details and fiddle with the settings. The settings here are really limited. I mean, you have your size, your opacity, which is already over here. Um, and you could do some little things, you know, like, hey, it's a scatter brush. It's a bitmap watercolor brush. You could adjust size by pressure or opacity by pressure. This has both turned on because it's a pencil. It's going over to details. You have some other options here. It's fairly limited to compared to what you'd expect from Procreate. Um, one thing that I'm always looking for in my brushes are smoothing to, to make things a little bit smoother if I'm doing like pen lines. And that's actually tucked away here in the settings stabilization, which I kind of like because I can adjust it on a global level. So if I switch between one brush to another brush, 
the smoothing remains consistent. Now, as you're watching this, if you have an iPad, you may be wondering like, if I already have Procreate, why would I want this? And I don't think there's really a compelling reason to get this over Procreate. It's about the same price. You're looking at a lot of the same tools. If you've already paid for something, why would you pay for pretty much the same thing? But on Android, I would love a nice Procreate clone. There are some out there that actually do that already. Unfortunately, as of right now, it's February of 20. 24. You can get the original Medibang, which is free as always here in the Android store, but Medibang Pro is not available for Android yet. I've heard rumors that they are going to be working on this and bringing it over. So, you know, cross your fingers. I hope they do. I think for Android, um, this would be a fantastic app. Um, on the iPad, you know, it's a little watered down because there's already so many great drawing apps there already. So I'm going to move my Galaxy tab away here. Many of the other things you're used to from Procreate are still here. Your, your layer panels over here. Um, this looks really familiar <laughs> if you use Procreate. This is an identical color picker. Uh, the layers look very similar. In fact, if you tap on a layer like Procreate, it brings up your options. This has been a little quirky for me where sometimes I'll roll over and it actually it's working today and this will disappear. Um, but you could do this, many of the same things here. You can change your opacity, uh, like I can knock my sketch down and I can create a new layer. Um, in here I can like vertical flip, I can create a clipping mask, I can merge my layers down, I can merge all my layers. I can create layer folders. So basically most of the things you'd expect in Procreate are here. Locking the layer, you can alpha lock the layer, which is really nice. I haven't played with watercolor edge, that's kind of interesting. One thing that I do like is if I am in my brushes, why aren't you going back? I have to hit the button itself. I'm gonna go over to my pen. I'm just gonna grab a nice pen. I'm gonna grab a sharp pen actually. And if I tap this again to close it, it'll just it'll just keep popping up. What I need to do to close the brushes is I just come in here and uh, I start drawing. Actually, I don't like that pen at all. Grab another pen. How do you work? Ooh, I like that. Yeah. Let me turn that down a little bit so I can actually use it. But that is a Brad pen right there. Oh yeah. And uh, this is using the same smoothing. I believe that um, is universally applied. Let me double check that setting, stabilizations at eight. Exactly what I expected. So yeah, this feels really good. I'm gonna move his nose up a little bit, maybe get the eyes at the same level. Give him a little smile. He's a schnauzer, so we'll give him some fur down here. Uh, it's usually around here that I, I no longer need uh, my pencil line, so I might toggle those off. Um, but yeah, drawing in this feels really good. Um, there's some quirks to the interface that I'm still not used to. Um, his face looks really strange that far down his head. So let's go here to my selection tool. and Let's see what we can do about that. I'm gonna do my lasso select and let me grab that. And my move tool is over here. So let me grab the move tool. Oh, I can rotate it too. I guess I have to click it. Yeah, so now I can decide, hey, where does that, where does that make the most sense? Do I want to stretch out his face? Do I want to narrow it? Do I want to turn it? So I can, I can fiddle with all these settings. Um, pretty cool, but basically kind of what, what you would expect there. Oh, I can do a mesh here as well. So now I could move this around, tweak that a little bit. I like that. That's nice. Cool. I should have just used the free form tool. Oh, well, anyway, move that into place. Tap off that, there we go. I no longer need my selection. Let's take a look at the color picker. The color picker is on, and this works just like Procreate, except Procreate, you, you tap to hold. There we go. If I tap and hold, what happens? Nothing happens, so they haven't pulled over that. The other thing here are uh, our rulers, and I don't know if you can see the angled lines that have appeared as guides, but I can come in here and I can follow those guides. That's kind of fun. Uh, if I try to go straight up, it just draws along the guides. Now, right now, this is the only grid I have. And I was looking on Medibang's website and it says that if you tap on this, it'll bring up options, but it seems to be toggling the grid on and off. Maybe if I tap and hold, oh, there we go. So right now it has parallel lines. I can do a normal grid. I could do vanishing points. So you could do one point perspective. Can I, if I tap and hold on that, I can change the color, the opacity. Okay. Can I add another vanishing point? I don't think I can. Let me tap and hold on that again. So I'm looking at Medibang's website and it says it's possible to do this in this app, but it doesn't actually tell you how. So for now, 
We're gonna put that on the back burner. Let's check out some of our other settings up here. We have our adjustments so we can do gradients, hues, all that kind of color type stuff. And then the other setting we have here are our objects. So let's go ahead and draw an ellipse and it's already filled in for me. All of these objects have little triangles beside them. So if you tap on them, it can bring up some options here. You can draw from center. You can keep your aspect ratio. So if you want a perfect circle as opposed to like an ellipse, you go back. We could do rectangles, polygons. What are our polygon options here? You, oh, I see. I draw my own polygon. I get it. I was trying to figure out how to draw multi-sided things. Straight lines are available. Curved lines are available. So curved lines work like vectors. That's kind of neat. Some of the other things in here are neat, like the comic frame tool is really cool. That comes over from Medibang. There's a text tool. It's going to tell me I need the internet for that. Uh, I kept getting notifications, so I just went to airplane mode right before I started recording. So no internet for me. And then there's materials, so you can import materials just like you can in Medibang. So my general takeaway from this app is that it's fun to draw in. I really enjoy this. I think this is a fantastic app. The only downside, of course, is the fact that Procreate already exists and is doing a lot of the same things. So if you're already used to it, why would you get an app that's basically built to work the same exact way? There are a handful of features that are just really unique to this app that Procreate doesn't have, probably never will, like the comic panel creator. And if that's what you absolutely need, and that's gonna be a huge time saver, then you know, 10, 11 bucks for this app isn't, isn't too much to pay, especially for the amount of time you might be saving. This reminds me a lot of what Clip Studio Paint did back in the summer when they released their simple version. But the main difference there was that Clip Studio on the iPad is just fully featured. There's so much in there. It's the same exact app that you see on the desktop. And so you have this simple mode where you can go in and draw and sketch and do all that fun stuff and all the interface gets out of your way. It's great on a tablet. But then if you need to, you can just switch back to normal Clip Studio. So if you need to do some like crazy thing with the paint bucket tool, you can do that. Or if you need to do, I don't know, some animation and it's just easier to get all those features in that pro version, you can, you can switch over. Whereas this is more of a stripped down version of Medibang so that the interface feels better. Yeah, so I, I that's my opinion. Hope it comes to Android. I'd love for it to come to Android. I'll probably revisit it if it does. What do you think? Let me know down below in the comments. Thank you all for watching. I'll talk to you in a couple of days.